Uh, hello friends welcome back uh, in this session right we're going to talk about the vi editor in the last session we discussed about the nano editor so let me tell you i'm not a professional in vi editor because i use a nano a lot but what i'll do is i'll try to give my uh, best to explain it to you so i use uh, not frequently but yes i do use a vi editor so what exactly i'm going to do is we have the same file here if i type ls temp right we still have that uh, password file so what I'm going from the last class actually so what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to type vi so there are also vim also actually so I think let's see if a vim works because I think it has enhanced vi editor vim I'm going to say password sorry in the temp right first I'll go into temp okay so I'll say vim password see it's opened now what I'm going to do is I can actually, uh, I don't need to open a new file. I uh, Sorry, the existing file. You can also open a new file. How I'm going to do that? So if you want to get out of this one, right? Earlier we used Control X, right? This is VA editor. How we can get out of from this file, you need to give uh, colon. See at the, bo at the bottom of the file, colon, Q, hit enter. You will come out actually. So if you want to create a new file, I'll say vim or vi new file. That means it will create a new file. See at the bottom it is saying brackets new file. Okay, what I'll do is I'll again colon quit it. So I'll say <coughs> I'll say my new file. That's why. So because I don't want to cause you confusion. If you see my new file is the name and bracket it is saying a new file. That means it's a new file. And you see a lot of tilde symbols on the left side. Why? Because it is saying the all unused lines. So you can't simply type here. Okay. You need to use press uh, insert. Okay. Let me tell you. When you first open, you can't simply type anything. Okay. You need to press I. That's why then only you will get this symbol at the down. See insert. Okay. Let, let me show it to you. I'm going to. So you have pressed control here. Okay. I'm going to quit it. So it is saying that one. Uh, it, okay. You need to force quit. Use this one. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to open a new file again. So VA new file. Now I'm going to press in order to put some data, right? If I, I'm, I'm actually pressing GH, GH, nothing is happening. Now when I press I, right, you can see insert change to insert. Now here I'm going to put some clicks. Hello. I'm going to put like this okay now if you want to save this file what I need to do first you need to press escape the moment you press the escape right so it's it will be gone the insert will be gone see now if you want to save the file it will be colon W for saving the file so it is saying it is saved now if you want to edit it again again press I it will change to insert I'll go here again hello okay now if you want to save the file and exit this file escape colon w for saving q for exiting okay you will come out again you can actually va my file you can go inside okay so you again press i for insert you come here and do the changes whatever the changes you want for example i'm going to add everything but i had a lot of junk files i thought that no i don't want this i just want to get out of this file i don't want to make any changes to file so what you can do you can actually escape colon q for quitting but the problem is this is the error you're going to get because you put some data right so what you need to do again escape colon q and give a approximate symbol okay or explanation in mark actually not approximate sorry explanation explanation in mark so what will actually what will happen that means you are quitting force quitting actually if i hit enter now i came out of the file so if i go again there won't the changes won't be there it won't be there what it is there earlier apart from that you can go here we have a lot of stuff here so there are for example i go va editor command the first one is www.guru99.com if i open that i open this one so there are a lot of other options available there are a lot of videos are available for this one okay so you can go through that one so if i come down here <coughs> check it out if you press escape to come out w save so you have a lot of things here actually so what are the commands you want for example uh, if i want to delete some files i need to use a dd for example see delete a line use dd okay so if you want to delete three lines this one delete contents of the list. so let, let's put like this okay i'm going to give i'm 
I'm going to copy everything. So, okay, right. So, what will happen if I want to? I press escape, so insert is gone. If I want to delete something, so what I can do? If I say DD, that line will be deleted. Check it out. I put, see, so three three fewer lines. So uh, normal, I use DD actually. It, I need to get like Control K, right? You can actually delete it. So if I want to delete multiple lines, three DD. So if I want to delete the contents of a line after the cursor, you can. These are the different commands. Okay, if you want to delete a word, you say <coughs> DW, 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 delete a word actually. So what are the other things? If you want to escape, you can use and write after the cursor, right end of the cursor, for example. Okay. If I press A, right now it's not there, right? If I press capital A, so it's going to insert and it went. So what I'm trying to say is right now, so I'll come down and I'll say I have a big line. Okay. Now imagine. I'm here actually. If I want to go to the end of line, if I say uh, basically, <coughs> come on, this one. See, if I I need to escape. Okay. So and if I want to go to the end of the line, simply I can press A, and you see I went to the insert mode and end of the line. I think if I use this escape and normal A, I should I should go. Right after the cursor, yeah. So if I want to go to the end of the line, simply it will go to the insert mode and it will go to the end of file. So if you want to, if you press the escape, right? So it will terminate the insert mode. So if I press A again, let me show it. If I am here, right? If I press Shift A, like capital A, it will go to the insert mode and then it will go to the end of the line as well. You can add it from here. Like this, if you see, you have a lot of things, guys. So right? If you go here, if you want to delete a character, replace a character, you can do that one. For example, if you want to uh, something like I'm going to escape and I'm going to press R. Okay. What happened? R. Hmm. Looks like replace a character. I need to check it out. So just go ahead, guys. So if you want to up and down, right? You can you move cursor up. Move, you can use K to move up, move down, and uh, left and right. As I said, I'm not a big user of this one. So I'm going to uh, escape. So if I K, it will go up. I think uh, L is J is down. See, K will go up. J will come down, and I think L is L is uh, right. H is yes. Okay, H I can go like this. So, of course, I can use the arrow marks as well, but still it is there. So, if I want to delete everything, simply I'll go double D, everything will be deleted. Okay, so there are a lot of options is there in uh, VA editor, but uh, which one you like it, you choose it. You can use Nano or VA, doesn't matter. Nobody really not going to question you which editor you are using. Whichever is feasible, you can use it. Okay? It's not like a rocket science. So either way, some people from VA, VA editor, right? Who likes VA really don't like the Nano. Some people from the Nano really don't like the VA editor. This always happens. But so you check it out both uh, earlier video, which is a Nano, and this video. Whichever you think easy, you can do that. One the one problem I can see is uh, in most of the Linux systems, right? In Production systems like uh, uh, like Red Hat Linux, CentOS, or Su Suzy Linux, everything. Sometimes Nano won't be available. During that time, you are forced to use because you can't install a package. They won't allow you. They won't give permissions. So you are forced to be uh, using the uh, forced to be using the VA editor. So what I'll suggest is you. If you like editor, nano editor, it's fine, but learn little bit about VA editor as well. If you learn the VA editor, if you are very good in VA editor, also better you learn little bit of nano. Why? Because sometimes if you go for Ubuntu, you are working on Ubuntu systems. If you can install the package, yes, it will have by default you have Vim and uh, nano. If it is not there, you need to install. If you are unable to install and you need, you are forced to work on nano. If you know little bit about that, it will be helpful for you. Okay. So this is about VA editor, guys. You have a lot of uh, data available. Next is we're going to talk about uh, file permissions. Well, how exactly the files are created? What are the permissions in the file? What are the permissions we can give in the file? So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.